Somewhere out in space live the Herculoids. Zok, the laser ray dragon. Igu, the giant rock ape. Tundro, the tremendous. Gloop and Gleep, the formless, fearless wonders. With Xandor, their leader, his wife Tara, and their son Dorno, they team up to protect their planet from sinister invaders. All brave, all strong, all heroes. They are the Herculoids. Hey guys, Shannon here with Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on a single History and Origins video. The Herculoids premiered on CBS on September 9th, 1967, created by Alex Toth and produced by Hanna-Barbera Productions, and ran until September 6th, 1969. However, 11 new episodes were produced in 1981 as part of the Space Stars show, set on the distant planet of Amzot which was renamed Quasar in the Space Stars episodes. The Herculoids made their first appearance on the Space Ghost episode, The Molten Monster of Moltar. The Herculoids fought to defend their planet from evil. The show's characters consisted of Xandor, Zok, and Tundro, all voiced by Mike Rode, Tara, voiced by Virginia Gregg, Dorno, voiced by Ted Eccles, Egu by Ted Cassidy, along with Gloop and Gleep, voiced by Don Messick. Xandor was the leader of the Herculoids and protector of the planet, who worked alongside his wife Tara and their son Dorno. The other members of the Herculoids were Zok, the flying space dragon, Igu the rock ape, who is an extremely large and powerful simian, which has extremely dense rock-like skin and is nearly invulnerable to harm. Tundro, who is a ten-legged, four-horned rhino triceratops hybrid, along with Gloop and Gleep, who are two protoplasmic creatures. They are able to absorb and deflect energy blasts and laser beams, often placing themselves between attackers and the other Herculoids to act as shields. The Herculoids all fought to keep their planet a technology-free, primitive planet. This is further indicated by a pseudo-barbarian outfits of Xandor, Tara, and Dorno, and the fact that technology was used mainly by various villains, but rarely, if ever, by the heroes. The Herculoids were featured in several anthology wheel series produced by Hanna-Barbera, including Hanna-Barbera's World of Super Adventures, Space Stars, and even inspired a number of other series such as A Boy and His Blob. On June 14, 2011, Warner Archive released The Herculoids, the complete original animated series on DVD in Region 1 as part of their Hanna-Barbera Classics Collection. This is a manufacturer on demand release, available exclusively through Warner's online store and Amazon.com. The Herculoids have appeared in various comic books through the years. In 1968 to 1969, they appeared in issues 1 and 2 and issues 4 through 7 of the series Hanna Barbera Super TV Heroes. In 1978, they appeared in issue number 3 of the Marvel Comics series TV Stars. Between 1997 and 1999, they appeared in issues number 5, 9, 13, and 17 of the DC Comics series Cartoon Network Presents. In 2016, the Herculoids played a major role in the DC Comics series Future Quest that also featured characters from various animated series produced by Hanna-Barbera, such as Johnny Quest, Space Ghost, Birdman and the Galaxy Trio, Frankenstein Jr. and the Impossibles, alongside Moby Dick and Mighty Mitor. Space Stars was a 60-minute Saturday morning animated program block produced by Hanna-Barbera Productions and broadcast on NBC from September 12, 1981 to September 11, 1982. It was during this time that the Herculoids would only appear during one segment of each episode for 10 minutes each. The cartoons would occasionally cross over into one another. Space Ghost and the Herculoids both had their own respective series in the 1960s. Teen Force and Astro, alongside the Space Mutts, were both new segments, although the Astro character was a family dog from the Jetsons. The Herculoids made an appearance in the Council of Doom story arc of Space Ghost, in which while battling the combined might of all his enemies, Space Ghost meets a number of Hanna-Barbera heroes just as they were debuting in their own respective series. Several episodes of Space Ghost Coast to Coast also mention or show the Herculoids. Tundro and Gloop appeared in the episode of Family Guy, Eight Simple Rules for Buying My Teenage Daughter. In the scene, Gloop fails to get a babysitting job from Lois. In protest, Tundro shows up and fires his energy rocks at Lois. Gloop and Gleep appeared in a cameo as captured prisoners of a hostile alien race in the Dexter's Laboratory episode, Misplaced in Space. They are then mentioned in an episode of the Venture Brothers. The Herculoid series has aired in French, Chinese, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, Hungarian, Japanese, and Welsh. The Herculoids were the topic of an article by Danny Roth entitled Alex Toth and the Herculoids Helped Define Science Fiction in Animation from April of 2019 on Sci-Fi.com.
In it, the author stated, the impact of the show is enormous. You can see its influence on Star Trek, which was also airing at the time. You can draw a line between the Herculoids and Star Wars. Toth himself, inspired by the works of Ray Harryhausen, would go on to influence animators and comic book artists for decades after. And the Herculoids is arguably the crown jewel of his achievements because every episode featured dynamic new characters, all totally original and all perfectly simple. You can listen to the entire podcast the article revolves around by following the link in the description below. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon from Comic TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.